The internet and net neutrality, explained simply by Haslage Net Enterprises. First context. The internet was a concept developed in the 1950s, but was actually invented in the 60s, funded by grants from the United States Department of Defense. Known as the ARPA Net, it originated the internet protocol and was spread amongst a number of universities. The first message was sent via a computer science laboratory at the University of California, Los Angeles. Being based at universities and funded via government grants prevented commercialization. The invention of the internet. In 1981, expanding upon the ARPA net, the National Science Foundation provided funding for the Computer Science Network, which established the Internet Protocol Suite in 1982. By 1986, the National Science Foundation Network was interconnected between a number of national supercomputing centers located at educational and research organizations, Freenets and ISPs. Beginning in 1986, local, privately owned Freenets began popping up. Many were connected to the already established national network. By 1990, a number of internet service providers had been established. As a result, the ARPA net was decommissioned as the ISPs began to replace it. In 1995, the NSF net ended its run, leaving the management of the internet to private commercial entities. As a result, the internet could be commercialized. World Wide Web during the early 1990s, electronic mail and instant messaging made their appearances. Prior to the aforementioned, users could typically only access non-graphical websites via the hypertext transfer protocol, chat via the internet relay chat, download and upload files via file transfer protocol, and play text-based games via the telnet protocol. It was not until the World Wide Web was established in 1993 that images could be seen on computer screens. After this point, software development for use on the internet increased exponentially. Early computers. There were only a few home computer brands that could access the internet in the late 1980s. However, the most notable was the Commodore 64. Released in 1982, the Commodore 64 saw a resurgent in the late 1980s with the addition of a 1200 baud modem. Anyone lucky enough to find a Commodore 128 with a 2400 baud modem that saw a web page loading would find this speed blazing fast compared to that of the Commodore 64. Blazing fast speed? Determining the speed of an internet connection in the early years was determined by the capability of the modem. After switching from bods to kilobits per second, it became a lot easier to understand. Modems steadily increased in capability from 9.6, 14.4, 28.8, 36.6 .6 to 56.6 kbit per second. Then you have the broadband by the mid-1990s. The ISPs typically determine a user's access speed, and some even provide the hardware to ensure compliance. Public access. In the late 1980s, the availability of the Freenet allowed any person that had a computer with a dial-up modem to connect. Many Freenets, especially if they were popular, limited access to an hour at a time. Users could reconnect over and over, assuming that the Freenet was not busy. Eventually, public libraries began to offer a similar Freenet service based around their newly web-accessible catalog. In addition to surfing the internet, users could look up and order books and media for pickup or delivery. America is online. Freenets were eventually phased out when the ISPs began popping up. Initially strictly limited to telephone companies, new companies and other media providers began offering internet access. Originally providing the same type of access to all users, as popularity increased, providers began limiting access to users. Some would simply limit the amount of access over a specific time period, while others would limit bandwidth consumed. Why the backstory? Well, I wanted to provide an overview of the internet, specifically how it was accessed early in its existence. Since private commercial entities still control most of the internet's infrastructure, and technology has evolved quite far, there is a possibility of controlling the type of access that users have beyond what has been done in the past. Net neutrality. The concept behind net neutrality is to discourage the ISPs and government from controlling how users access the internet. In other words, treating all internet traffic equally. In fact, specific programs and websites could have their usage limited or blocked. This also means that users who play a lot of video games online or stream a lot of videos could be limited or blocked in some way. 
These limitations could also occur during a specific period of time or permanently. Open Internet. The concept of open Internet promotes the user's ease of accessing the Internet, including the acquirement of equipment, software, and service. It also encompasses other ideas such as net neutrality, Internet censorship, and network limiting. It all boils down to freely using the Internet how one likes, within reason, ISP costs aside. Opponents. Those against the concepts of net neutrality and other similar ideals simply cite business reasons. By limiting the usage of the Internet in some way, they can prioritize bandwidth for preferred services. It makes financial sense to want to limit the usage of programs that use an excess of resources and earns no additional money for the ISP. The average Internet user does not typically play video games online or stream videos. They usually just access their email and social media. Want to learn more? Check out Wikipedia. While it's not recommended to be used for educational research purposes, it is generally on the spot with this information. Just do not accept what is not cited by an official source to be worth more than a grain of salt. Remember to visit our website, Hasslage Net Enterprises, at www.hasslage.net. That's www.hasslage.net. And also check out the Entertainment Consumers Association at www.theca.com. They have more information on net neutrality and other uh, internet related causes including gaming and other uses of media so it's, it's a good site to check out